The body. There's something else over at the body. This is not finished yet, guys. Okay, hold on. I'm missing something. The head, the torso, the hands, and the legs. Ah, a piece of rope. A piece of rope that was used to tie up that poor man. What is that icon? Six cents? What is this? I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay, is the icon turning green now? It's green! We are done with the body. Where's the key to that locked room? Paperweight, glass shards, bottle. This is still a blue magnifying glass. I don't understand. The puzzle. Is there something over there? Is, are those the puzzle pieces? You guys see that right there? On the bookshelf, those look like pins for the puzzle. But I can't even click on them. Now let's go back to the deduction board, guys. Maybe we are supposed to do something here. The broken flask has some blood at its top. Broken flask. The murderers made the bishop drink blood. The murderers tortured the bishop with the broken glass. That seems like the case here. <laughs> the bishop gnawed at himself. That is crazy. Penitence. The victim was savagely tortured. The bishop was mortifying himself. He was used to pain. The bishop resists the torture. Yeah, definitely guys, the first one. That explains the severity of the wounds. Chest. The murderers were unable to open the safe because they don't have the puzzle pins. <laughs> the murderers came here to kill the bishop. The bishop's murderers got what they wanted. The bishop's murderers didn't get what... Well, the safe is still unopened. So that means they left empty-handed. Oh, we did it correctly! Yeah! So that is turning green now. The shoes, one of the murderers left in different shoes. One of the murderers left wearing the bishop's shoes. Yeah, definitely, guys. One of the murderers sells shoes. The murderers are poor. Yep. No? <laughs> one of the murderers came back for his shoes. Uh, I am leaning toward they are poor, so they took the shoes away. Okay. What else? The veranda wasn't searched because it's locked. The murderers were looking for something specific. Yeah, I'm sure, guys. The bishop's murderers were hired by someone. Maybe? The murderers searched for the bishop's shoes. Uh, the, bi the murderers wanted to steal from the bishop. Yeah. Is that not the case? Maybe the first one? Perfect. Oh. It is evident that the Bishop oh. of Knightsbridge's killers were after something specific, and that they did not find it. Reverend, I shall ask you one more time. Open the chest. The item they were seeking must still be inside. It is unlikely that they will let this matter rest. They will most certainly return to finish what they started. And I am telling you once more, the chest is locked and shall remain so. Very well. We have reached an impasse. You are a stubborn man, Reverend. Watson, accompany our friend to the police station and return with Inspector Baines. Baines and no one else. I shall wait for you here. Go. It's your and last no, chance. Last. Now I can continue my investigation. Oh, <laughs> we got rid of the Reverend, guys. And we are all by ourselves here. So the door is still locked. 
<laughs> and we are still missing the elements for the puzzle. So what has changed? <laughs> Even though we are alone right now. Shall we head back into the bedroom, guys? <laughs> I don't know. What is the point of getting rid of the Reverend? <laughs> Maybe we can break the door open now? With the pebble. <laughs> this lock should be easy to pick. Let's see. Easy to pick? With what? With my pocket knife? With the metal sink! Right. This lock should be easy to pick. Let's see. I don't have any why. Oh, wait. We are using the metal sink. Oh, this is like the first puzzle in the game. <laughs> okay. How do we operate this lock? How does it work? Oh, different sections of the wire. So we can look at the outline here, guys. There are four different sections. So this one is supposed to go down. Ah, oh, easy. Aha! There we go. Validate. There we are. It is simplicity itself. There isn't anything perfectly. much in this room. It must be used as a reading or meditation room. Yeah! New room. So the deduction board, guys. By answering those questions, I can make progress into the game. <laughs> so there's one way to... Advance the storyline. An ink stain, quite fresh. This stain is just on the edge of the rug. Let's see. There is nothing on the floor, yet the ink must have soaked through the rug. Ah, that means... What? There's a crack on the floor, though. Maybe it leaked into the crack? There is nothing on the floor, yet the ink must have soaked through the rug. Maybe it was rotated, guys. It was a, at a different spot. At this side. Oh, there's a desk! You, we can see the ink spill. The spill bottle there. It came from the bottle. Oh? An ink stain. Ah, so that's the saying. Okay, the bottle is right here. This inkwell was tipped over recently. The ink stain on the floor comes from the ink on the rug, but they are not in the same place. Someone has moved the rug recently. Yeah, I wonder why. Is there a secret entryway underneath the rug? Can I just pull that whole, whole thing? Hey, pull that rug away. <laughs> Move it aside. So there's something underneath the rug. That is curious. What? There's something strange on the floor. I Certain see. Certain stones have been marked out, just like a chessboard. Ah, I see a green square, a five by five square. There's a green outline. That is curious. There is something strange on the floor. Certain stones have been marked out. I need something. We need chess pieces. <laughs> We need puzzle pieces. Apparently, someone wanted to hide this statue. A statue? Let's take a closer look. What is it? This horse resembles a large chess piece. Oh! A knight! There is a message underneath this statue. Let's see. What a lack of imagination! Use your passion for chess. The last square on which knight will place himself after having covered all the others will be the right one. I love you. Another puzzle. This is a puzzle clue. This message was written by a woman, but for whom was it intended? Interesting, this chess game. Is that not for the bishop? So, okay, let's use that knight chess piece. On the puzzle board. Okay. Our starting square is right there. So the last piece, is it in the middle? Okay, let's just try moving this around. We're supposed to light up the whole thing. Yeah, let's keep the middle. 
the middle tile open, guys. I feel like we are going to need the space. Jump, jump, jump. Yeah, I think we can make it to the middle in the end. The bishop has a mistress. <laughs> Something about it, too. <laughs> I'm not shocked. The middle. This last piece should be the good one. It will have to be pulled free. It have to be pulled free. I need something. What do you mean? Can I pry it open? Pocket knife. Ah, secret letters. Ooh, incriminating love letters. Twenty fourth April, my love. Whoa, what a beautiful spring, and what a marvelous day! Our dear youngest child's birthday. The bishop has a child, has a kid. Every moment is so precious. Our child blossoms, and without a doubt, he will soon be talking. I'm sure that his first words will be for you. He misses you so much as I do I. Are you sure you cannot get away on Sunday after vespers? I thought that. My darling, I know that you think I am insistent, but we are absolutely must legitimize our union. We cannot live in sin all our lives. Rest assured, my dear, that I understand your position is not easy. But have you thought about ours, the children's and mine? I cannot allow our children's future to be compromised. Think about it, my love. What is so called scandal next to the well-being of your family? We must become husband and wife legally to finally form a real family. Wow, guys! A packet of letters addressed to the Reverend. They were written by a woman who mentions his illegitimate children. Their affair isn't official. Perfect. I have you now, my wayward Reverend. Wow. The Reverend. That's the reason why he didn't want us to search the place. Are we done? <laughs> I think we are done in here. <laughs> that was shocking. Ah. Watson, you were gone a terribly long time, and Inspector Baines isn't with you? I'm afraid not, Holmes. We were unable to find him. Dr. Watson would not allow me to contact any inspector other than this Baines. What manners! I am a man of the church. My dear Reverend, I notice that you are a chess lover. I trust you will excuse me, but I am never able to resist the appeal of a half-finished game. You are an expert at chess. Very well, then. What do you want now? As you might have guessed, resolving your small chess problem has allowed me to discover some very interesting letters. Letters? What do they say? Reverend, why hide these letters here and run the risk of the bishop finding them? Holmes, what's in the letters? Not now, Watson. Yeah, interesting guys. Where else could I have hidden them? My own chambers are too austere. They could offer no cover. I knew, however, that His Excellency, may he rest in peace, would not notice my game. The contents of the Bishop of Knightsbridge's chest interest me greatly. Give me the elements you hold, Reverend. Out of the question. Out of the question? Well, I am threatening you. Do you understand that you are the prime suspect in this terrible murder? What? But that's you! <laughs> think for one moment who profits from this crime? You! Not me! I think so, yes. With the Bishop of Knightsbridge no longer here, you are now the apostolic director of the diocese, are you not? Yes, until another incumbent is appointed, but... A position which should logically come to you. The police will not overlook that. They will never believe you. But of course they will. Do not forget who I am, Reverend. You. You are odious. Here are the stems that you are looking for. Stems? You have one. <laughs> Evidently, as I always do. What are you able to tell us about the Bishop of Knightsbridge's last days? Did anyone come to visit him? Did he seem worried, anxious? Do not omit the smallest detail. 
His nephew came to see him yesterday at His Excellency's request. I found this visit a little peculiar because the young man rarely visits his uncle. Do you know why that might be? Were they on bad terms? I don't think so. It's rather a consequence of his work. The young man is employed within the archive section of the Royal Library, which doesn't leave him with a lot of free time. Do you know the reason for his summons? No, but the conversation was very heated. It only lasted for a few minutes and ended with the nephew in a terrible rage. Interesting. I've answered your questions. Will you now let me contact the authorities? I'm afraid not, Reverend. Not just yet. All right, now we can open the safe. Aha, uh -huh, so the nephew. We got a new suspect, guys. Okay, so where are those beans? He gave it to me already. Oh, it's right here, guys. The wooden stakes. Just like the ones using golf. <laughs> oh, hey, okay, let me click on this one. I'm gonna use it on the puzzle. The puzzle, say. How does it work? Uh, seven pins. So, Sophia, if the Reverend did read the scandalous paper earlier, he is right not to show you the content of the chest. <laughs> okay, uh, so what are we doing here? Are we doing that, um... That, uh... That type of puzzle where we cannot put the same plank? On the same row and column? Is that the one? Yeah, no instructions here, guys. <laughs> so I think we're doing that type of puzzle. So let's try it here. Yeah, it feels like that kind of puzzle. <laughs> now I can open the chest. Oh, really? That is it? <laughs> yeah, I guess seven is a lot easier than eight. Yeah, seven is easy, but eight is tough. With the 8x8 square, with 8 pegs. Yeah, 7 is a lot easier. You know? Okay, turn the handle. Here we are. I am eager to discover what remarkable treasure could justify such an act of barbarity. Extraordinary! What is it? This chest is impenetrable. How is it possible? No one other than the bishop should be able to open it. You I am the, the puzzle expert. With disconcerting ease, Holmes. <laughs> I've seen and heard quite enough. This time you won't stop me. Catch him, Watson. Oh, he ran away. The... But why? Run, Watson. Hurry. Is there something incriminating inside? Why did he run away? He's escaped. I hope that your motivations are founded, Holmes. I don't much like skirting around the edges of the law like this. It is annoying. Let's leave without delay. What have you found in the chest, Holmes? What in there is so precious for these men to commit such terrible acts? What is it? The Reverend was telling the truth. Nothing important was locked inside the chest, apart from a few religious items which are hardly worth stealing. So, we haven't made any headway. Perhaps the police will. By the time the police arrive, we shall be a long way from here, Watson. We are leaving. Huh. Okay, so those incriminating letters, I wonder if the Reverend took them away before he went away. <laughs> or maybe he left them he there, guys, inside that compartment. <laughs> Alright, time to go. Watson? What should we do next, Holmes? Let us return to Baker Street as quickly as possible. Can I take a closer look at the contents of the safe? <laughs> I am interested, guys. So, nothing... Worthwhile. <laughs> Inside the safe. Are we sure about this? So, the item that the murderers were trying to locate... Wasn't here in the first place. Is that a conclusion, guys? Or maybe... They were here just to commit the murder, and that is all? Alright, heading back to... Baker Street! Heading back home. 
we have crossed London at a breakneck speed. We could have knocked someone over. And naturally, <laughs> I had to pay the cabbie out of my own pocket. Watson, stop complaining. We have to analyze the clues found at the bishop's house. Clues, yes, we do have a ton of clues, guys. So I guess we're using this lab table here right now. Uh, okay, let me pick up the finger. <laughs> we still have the seven finger. <laughs> Can we check that out? Examine it right here. No, it is unnecessary. Unnecessary? Okay, there are different hotspots here. Hold on. Magnifying glass. Ah, analyze the clues. Okay, we got all the clues here. What What do we need to do? I must analyze the clues. The finger. Okay. It looks so real, guys. <laughs> it does look real. Bite marks? Those are bite marks. Right there. Okay, what do we do? Uh, there are different tools here that I can use. Scalpel, pincers, a brush. Water, acid. I don't even know what I'm doing with this. <laughs> Instructions. Analyze the clues. Wow. <laughs> that is all. <laughs> Instruction is to analyze the clues. <laughs> That is very helpful. I haven't finished my analysis. Water. I can't do that. You want me to dissect the finger? <laughs> you want me to cut it open? Tooth marks. Rather deep ones. Oh. I'd say of incisors and a canine. Canine? Incisor of the canine? Why are we so sure? I, I guess Holmes is very knowledgeable about this kind of stuff. Fragments of skin, a phalanx. This finger wasn't cut off, it was ripped off. It was ripped off! Oh! So it has nothing to do with the bite marks, right? It was. How is that even possible, guys? You can see the bone, the protruding bone. It was ripped off? How much force does it require to rip off a finger like this? A fingertip? That sounds impossible. I can see something. What? The dirt? The dirt marks? I can see something. Uh, the fingernails. Inside the fingernails. Can I... Can I take that out? Use a brush? No, I can't do that. Scalpel, pincers. Black and damp earth under the nail. Oh. Interesting. Can I do an analysis on that one? I can see something. Tooth marks. Rather deep ones. I'd say of incisors so, and a canine. Can I examine that more closely, guys? I don't know how. Can I change you a different thing? I haven't finished my no. analysis. Okay, wait. Scalpel pincers. Pick them up. Oh! Bite marks on this severed finger. I am afraid of the significance. The thieves didn't get what they wanted. When they were faced with the bishop's refusal to cooperate, one of the gang shook his finger at him to indicate that he was responsible for his unfortunate state. And the poor man, whose head was the only part of him not bound by ropes, bit the finger violently enough to sever it. Oh! An uncommonly savage act. Watson, I am certain that when we have explained the reasons behind this sudden bestiality, we will have revealed a larger part of the mystery. So the bishop beat off the finger. <laughs> wow. Hello, Umawa and Kunga5. How are you guys doing? Is there VR on the wall? What do you mean? Okay, next object. Uh, the bloody scalpel. There is something written on this scalpel. I should clean it. With acid. With water. Uh... Can we do an analysis on the blood? No, I can't do that. WCH? No, I can't do that. Brush. Ah, I can make out WCCH. What do the initials stand for? How many hospitals are there in the Whitechapel area, Watson? If we count public dispensaries, enough to keep us busy for an entire month. Did this scalpel come from a hospital? Yes, as the initials WCCH engraved upon it show us. We must think on how best to deal with this. We do not have the time to investigate every hospital in Whitechapel. 
Do we have a map? <laughs> it's not that hard, right? If we look at the name of all the hospitals in the surrounding area, WCCH, Whitechapel something hospital. <laughs> Maybe Whitechapel Community Hospital. WCCH. Okay, next one. I have cut a small piece off the rope. That should be enough. So this came from um, the victim, right? It was he was bound by this piece of rope. Now there are a lot of things on the rope. Can we take all that a off? A lot of fragments of black stone are wedged into this rope. Their color seems unnatural, but they are too small for me to examine them. Too small. Black and damp earth. Oh, is that the same one as uh, this one here? The one came from the fingernail. This rope is only worn on one side. Only one on one side. What does that mean? Only one on one side. This rope is only worn on one side. I must compare the samples of earth that I found. Okay. What about the rock here? This fragment of stone is very smooth, and it seems to be of a peculiar quality. I shall have to strip it with one of my products. Strip it with acid? This stone appears to be the same as those found within the rope's fibers. Oh. I can't do that. Can I chip a little off? <laughs> this stone is granite covered in black paint. The fragments found in the rope and this piece of granite come from the same place. Okay, so there's a connection between all the items. Now we have... I must compare the samples of earth that I found. These two samples, yeah. And if I mix this earth with another substance... I can see something. I can see something. Mix it with water. Now it must all be stirred. All be stirred? Together? Why? Stir together using... I can't do that. Scalpel? The samples of earth taken from beneath the fingernail and from the ropes originate from the same place. How do you know? It took just a little water to analyze the consistency. The soil has retained its moisture, even though there hasn't been rain in London for over a week. This soil could come from the bank of a river, or somewhere where the evaporation is slower. A mine, perhaps, or a trench. The banks of the Thames are clay soil, unlike our samples, so we can rule that out. The nearest mines are a dozen miles away, so I would rule that out also. I would therefore conclude your last theory to be nearer the mark. A trench? A pit. Watson, bring me your register of the London hospitals. Studying the scalpel has given you an idea, then? Indeed. I'll get it. Man, <laughs> it's hard to keep up with Holmes, guys. <laughs> Such a brilliant mind. Oh, v it is VR. Uh, this what you're talking about, Kunga 5. VR? <laughs> I don't know about this. So, so those are bullet holes. Yeah, Holmes did it, obviously. We know how he likes to experiment with things, right? So the map! Did we not have a map already? We picked up a map earlier! <laughs> from the desk. So... Ooh, hotspots! What is this? Hospitals and dispensaries in London. I have found my book, Holmes. Good. Now put it on the work table, will you? Okay, so that's what we are looking for. What are the other icons here? General practitioner? That won't be of any use to me. Female anatomy. Hmm. I should put this book somewhere else. <laughs> Keep it in your private quarters, Dr. Watson. <laughs> And this is how my dear friend and colleague treats his client's letters. <laughs> how he disposes of them, huh? Well, at least he didn't throw them into the garbage bin. 